Yamaha is a large conglomerate, but most importantly for us, Petrolheads. It is a motorcycle brand and engine builder. While they create world-class bikes, they are also capable of engineering one of the best automotive engines. This has been a real deal for decades as Yamaha has co-developed or developed not just one or two engines for this business. Good job having you know all of them. Toyota 4AGE The 4AGE is a chapter of its own, unlike others of the A-series. This one has never been factory carbureted and once it even got a supercharger. The 4AGE started with a 16-valve DOHC head and later it received a 20-valve one too. It is very lightweight, compact, tuning friendly and completely developed by Yamaha. Ford Show V6 A development team responsible for the Mustang SVT Cobra also built the Ford Toro Show except for the engine. Ford actually commissioned a compact DOHC 60 degree V6 at the Yamaha designed for a transverse layout. At its time by the end of the 80s it was very powerful, high revving and up to this day a lovely sounding engine. <laughs> Toyota 2 URGSE The Lexus ISF was the brand's first sporty car to be developed and they have got a new engine for it. Well, the basic structure was shared with a 2 UR FSE used in a hybrid model, but when Yamaha engineered high flow heads for the engine, it became a different power plant. Volvo B8444S, purely created by Yamaha, this engine was installed in the Volvo S80 and XC90 transversely. As such an engine bay was originally meant for a long but narrow straight 5 engine, Yamaha had to merge the banks in a 60 degree angle. This brought the need for a timing chain driven balancing shaft as it was not as smooth running as a common 90 degree V8. Toyota 1LR GUE This even firing V10 has been developed by Toyota and Yamaha together. According to them, the engine is lighter than the 2GR FE 3.5L V6 engine and understandably also rails a little higher, up to 9500 rpm to be precise. It is a dry sum lubricated unit, has 10 individual throttle bodies and uses aluminum, magnesium and also titanium alloys. Toyota 3SGE 
The Toyota S series was a long living engine lineup. The most popular type of it would be the 3S in the GE and GT versions. Of course, Yamaha helped with it, and the 3S was meant to be lightweight. As an interesting fact, it is worth a note that this is a non interference engine. The most powerful naturally aspirated variant with 210 horsepower was installed in the Alteza RS200. Ford Show V8 After two V6 power generations, the third Taurus Show finally received a proper freedom engine. Although it wasn't of an American origin, the cooperation between Ford and Yamaha continued. The 60 degree V8 engine block was supplied by Cosworth, and Yamaha made high revving heads for it with a rev limiter of over 7000 rpm. Toyota 2ZZ GE The 2ZZ engine was a Toyota commissioned project at Yamaha using the 1ZZ engine block. They requested a high RPM and high power level engine without forced induction. The result was a VTEC reminiscent system as the big low cam profile was engaged at certain RPM and warm engine coolant of at least 60 degree of Celsius. The engine also found its place in Lotuses. Toyota 2000 GT The 2000 GT was a limited production sports car, also co-developed by Toyota and Yamaha. This 2000 GT project was solely designed by Yamaha and initially proposed to Nissan which was looking for a way to update the Fair Lady model. While Nissan declined the offer, Toyota accepted it and thus the Supra, Celica and GT86 predecessor was born in 1967 with only 351 cars made. No, it wasn't the engine to be built by Yamaha, but it is a cool car by Yamaha anyway. <laughs> 